Yes, I, I was born and raised in Pennsylvania. I uh, went to school uh, at MIT, studied software, and I've been doing that ever since. And I moved to Israel as a much younger man. Uh, and I've been, I've watched the whole high-tech community spring up here over the last uh, several decades. It's pretty cool. Uh, well, what's the, uh, you know, I've interviewed several startups in Israel. I mean, what's, what are your contrasts and comparisons of maybe the uh, Israeli startup culture and uh, maybe something like Silicon Valley here or San Francisco Tech? Well, I think we've learned a lot from San Francisco and Silicon Valley. In other words, it's obviously the number one place in the world to do so many different kinds of things. So the culture in Silicon Valley is quite special, uh, and it's something that everyone around the world can learn from. But uh, I would say Israel shares some of the values. Um, I'd probably sum up as saying uh, pragmatic experimentation, innovate, think out of the box, and try to come up with different ways of doing it. Nobody needs you to do the same kind of thing the same way. It's the idea of experimentation and possibly failing. But, you know, learning as you go, solving problems, uh, asking questions. It's so important. And I would say something about Israeli culture is <laughs> sometimes uh, more than plenty, uh, asking questions and questioning everything. And that's a good thing. It's not, by the way, it's not a good thing in certain fields. If I were doing large-scale manufacturing, I would right. probably, it's not a good thing to constantly ask questions and constantly quest, uh, uh, challenge things. But in startup, in innovation, in uh, software design, it's very much of a plus. You know what? I've, I've worked with a, uh, a few Israeli companies. I've, I've gone up to Migdal Hamek um, near Haifa uh, on a couple assignments for my other company I worked for. And, and one thing that struck me about the Israeli people is um, there's a strong will and determination I felt when I met each one of them. Um, and maybe that adds to this whole startup culture of maybe, you know, persistence and uh, perseverance, maybe. <laughs> That's a good word for it. Uh, some people might call it stubbornness, but certainly opinionation, uh, sure of oneself. And that's sometimes an advantage, sometimes it's less so. But um, Israelis are not known. I have to say this carefully. I'm not trying to uh, disparage anybody. But among cultures of the world, I wouldn't say Israel is known as the most polite culture. It's not known as the most polite culture. It's very challenging. And, you know, a lot of the strength of Israeli innovation comes from the fact that there is a, uh, a military here that uh, people are part of, for better or for worse. I'm not glad that people have to serve in the army, but um, I am glad that uh, people can solve certain kinds of problems and innovate and bring that kind of problem-solving uh, mentality or problem-solving uh, approach to other disciplines. Well, you know, the... Uh I, I met several founders who've kind of gone through, like they said, the military, but they were assigned to special units, right? Um, solving problems, you know, whatever, using their background to solve problems or their interest to solve problems. Um, obviously, there's this testing regiment like everyone has who kind of gets these special people in a special place. And, and uh, you know, when they describe it back to me, I, I you know, they look at it very fondly. They look at it like, you know, and actually it coalesced maybe certain, certain friendships and partners they have today, actually. That, that's the amazing part, you know. So it's an interesting ecosystem that way where everyone kind of goes through this same thing, but they exit it in different ways, but also have strengths of community around it that it's kind of like uh, going to, you know, university. That's the closest thing I could maybe say it's like military is going like to the university you have these friends and these some of these close friends for life it seems well it's uh, it's very true look um you know when you look at a startup mentality um and i say any startup anywhere in the world you got people together in very intense circumstances working hard trying to help each other support each other have to trust each other have to work together that, you know that's what characterizes startup so in some ways israel is a small country the whole country has 8 million people in it. The whole country is the uh, area of the state of New Jersey. You know, people say to me, um, is Israel as big as California? No, Israel is one fifteenth the size of California. Israel would fit widthwise in Los Angeles County, to put things in perspective. Mm. It's a, a tiny country, but that tininess also makes people rely on each other more uh, and trust each other when appropriate. 
uh, and work in very close circumstances. In the Army, it could be physical uh, or uh, mental uh, challenges where you have to solve certain problems on the fly. But those kinds of experiences leave people um, connected, very connected and trusting, relying on each other. And that certainly helps in a startup environment also. Wow. Well, thank you, Bob. Uh, thanks for sharing um, your, your thoughts on that. And um, I'm grateful. I'll, I'll let you get going. I think uh, it's time to go home.